Hey YouTubers, welcome back to our Desert Have a Garden. Today I want to show you how to make sourdough tortillas. So I've gotten some requests about people wanting more things to do with their sourdough starter and I know that it can add up on you really quickly. So you wanna make sure that you have lots of things that you can use it for. And actually this week I am babysitting a starter for a friend who's going on a trip to Hawaii. So I'll have lots of starter this week. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do for tortillas is flour. We'll take two cups of flour. And I am going to use my bread machine because it makes the kneading much easier. Okay, so we have two cups of just regular flour. You can use um, an all-purpose flour. You can use a whole wheat if you prefer. Um, the flavor comes out much more mild if you use a, a regular white flour. Um, I do use unbleached. You'll also need to use some salt. So this takes one teaspoon of salt. And you can play with this after you've tried the recipe to see if you like to have more or less salt. And we are going to need some water. This recipe only takes a half cup of water. And we need a source of fat. So four tablespoons of fat. Um, if you have lard, that is the traditional thing that tastes best with tortillas. Um, I'm going to use coconut oil because I don't have any lard available today. You can also use melted butter if you have it. But it is four tablespoons of fat. My coconut oil isn't quite liquid right now, but that's okay. It is pretty liquidy. You can always melt it in advance. It is warming up here, so the coconut oil will be completely liquid here in the near future. Okay, so we've got our flour, water, salt, and fat. And the last ingredient is starter. So this recipe only takes a small amount. It uses a half cup of sourdough starter. I have not yet fed this starter today, so I will use it and then I will feed it before I put it back in the refrigerator. You can see here that the starter looks nice and healthy. It's very elastic and sticky. So I'll just scoop out a half cup of that. All right, and that doesn't have to be perfectly exact. Now I will put it in the bread machine on the dough setting and allow it to begin mixing. You can see all our ingredients here in the bread machine and I'm going to use the setting eight, which is for just dough and pressing start. Let it begin mixing. Now you can see this is a lot smaller than the bread recipes, a lot less ingredients filling up the container. You could always double this and make a whole slew of tortillas, um, but I like them really fresh, so I just stick with the recipe as it is. I'll allow this to mix up and check back in with you in a couple minutes when it's all forming together. Okay, you can see our dough has formed together here, and it's a little bit sticky, but that's okay. There's a lot of fat in this, and so it doesn't actually stick to my hands, but it's a little bit moist. Um, in the end, we'll be rolling them out. We can use more flour then if necessary, so I wouldn't worry about it. As long as it looks about like this um, while it's mixing, you should be good. Now we will allow it, the bread to finish its cycle in the bread machine and then you allow it to rest for 8 to 24 hours. Um, that way it can completely ferment and then we will move on to the next step. So I'll see you in a bit. So it's been at least 8 hours and the dough has risen a bit. You can see it's um, soft and puffy. And so I'm just going to start the bread machine again to knead it just a little bit. And then once it forms into a ball, I'll start separating it into small balls in order to make the little tortillas. Okay, so for this part, 
I have my dough and I'll start separating it into small little balls to make the tortillas. But I also have a plate and some plastic wrap ready because as you make them, you want to cover them with plastic wrap to make sure that they don't get uh, dried out. I have a Brentwood tortilla maker here that I just can flatten them easily with. And so I make them pretty small. So I just break it off into my hand and it's a little tiny ball. Yay big. So that's, I don't know, inch and a half, two inches. And then my heated up tortilla maker, you just lift it open, put it in there and smash it. You don't want to smash it too hard because it'll actually um, cause holes to form. But you can hear it makes a funny little squeaking noise as the steam escapes and um, you give it a bit to make sure it's cooked. Now you can also do this in a hot pan. You do 30 seconds on each side, but you would first need to roll it out. Um, that's more involved than I like to be. So I like to use this handy dandy tortilla maker and then you've got a tortilla. So you put it onto the plate and I'll cover it with plastic wrap. It. There's a bunch of them to make, so you kind of keep it going. Cover that up. Got the next one in there, pressing it down. So it doesn't take terribly long to make them on this iron. It's pretty hot, and so it cooks them really quickly and evenly on both sides. Let's check it. There's your tortilla, nice and soft. just go on about this. Um, I kind of make them a smaller size, like a, probably like a soft taco size tortilla. If you had a bigger machine, maybe you could make them a bigger size, but this one only does this size. So you go through like this until you have all of your tortillas made. Okay, so I went through and I made all of the tortillas and it is 15 tortillas total um, for that one recipe. And you can see these nice lovely little tortillas, they're steaming hot. And they aren't perfectly round like the store-bought ones and if you have a rolling pin you could probably make that happen. Um, I'm not too worried about it, the kids love them just the way they are. Unfortunately my taste tester isn't here for you guys to have him take a bite right now. He's at a Boy Scout event. So I'll just quickly show you um, a little bit closer image of the tortilla maker I use. Um, it's kind of dark. So I, I keep it on the medium temperature se setting and it uses this handle to pinch it down, but it opens up, it's nice and hot, and it just has a um, non-stick surface on both sides. And so when you put the dough in here and you close it down, and you use this for leverage to press it, it just flattens them out nicely like this. So what you can do is you can store these um, in a plastic bag to keep them from getting um, stale and crunchy. You know, you wanna keep them nice and soft and pliable. Um, so in a plastic bag on the counter for a couple days, if it's gonna be more than a couple days, you probably wanna put them into the fridge. Um, they don't last that long around here. But you could always double the recipe if you want to make more. Um, like I said, this makes 15 about soft taco size tortillas. And you can use them the way you use any regular tortillas. So you can do burritos or you can do quesadillas or my kids like peanut butter and jelly on them. Um, also, the flavor is a little bit different because it is sourdough. Um, so it, it won't taste like a traditional tortilla. It's going to be a little bit different, but that's expected. Um, and if you want a really rich tortilla, definitely use lard. And like I said, I didn't have any available today. But I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you try it out yourself. Check in the description for links to um, the equipment that I use and the ingredients that I use. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. We can't end in video without a taste test. Oh, oh where'd it go? Five second rule. You gonna try your tortilla? What do you think? I need some butter. Some butter? Okay. Well, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future.